Hello, my name is Miss Jordan Miller and this is my program completion commitment timeline. My grandmother Joanne Meeker was a kindergarten teacher in LaSalle, Colorado. She passed away during a cancer research study on radiation about 30 days before I was born. She asked my mother to name me Jordan Marie. From time to time growing up, I would always find people who had my grandmother as teachers, and they would always tell me what a large impact she made on their lives. My mothers would tell me stories of her funeral and how the line to see her casket went around the block. I always wanted to have the same impact on people that my grandma Joanne had on so many of her kindergartners. Early on in my life, whenever anyone would ask me what I wanted to be, I would always say two things, a mother and a teacher. But the big decision came when I was in high school and I really had to start thinking about what is it that I wanted to teach. I was not the greatest student. My parent-teacher conferences were always, she talks a lot and she doesn't always turn in her work. But I loved working with children. I loved working with special ed students. I loved working with my peers. I loved working with the big brothers and big sisters. I loved computers and I loved science. My father begged me to go into computer science, but I did not want to do it. I wanted to be a teacher. So in order to him to accept me becoming a teacher, he kind of demanded that I become a math teacher. While I wasn't totally excited or sold on this idea, we definitely compromised as I love my father and I became a math major. I was not the best math student and it definitely never came easy to me. I always felt there was a better way to teach math so that it could be more relatable and easier to understand. This would be my motivation. I even told my teacher my senior year, I promise I'm gonna find a way to make this easier and I'm gonna work with you one day and maybe even take your job. I still am not the best mathematician, but I am a great educator, and my struggle through math really has helped me become an even better math teacher, as I can really relate to students who don't get things the first try or, or even on the first type of way to explain mathematics. I graduated from Greeley West High School in May of 1999 and that fall, I started in the University of Northern Colorado. I had my first semester in the classroom in 2000, and I was hooked on being a teacher. <clears throat> the regulations around student teaching and when to take the praxis exam changed, and we did not know that the change was happening. So many of us had to change our majors in order to still graduate on time. So I changed my major to applied statistics and took a couple grad level stats classes and still managed to graduate. I graduated in 2004 with a degree in applied statistics, having completed three of the four semester programs for teaching. In 2004, I had applied for an emergency teaching license and got my first teaching job at Fort Lepton Middle School. My very first day of teaching, my very first class period, I had to teach the history of Asia something I knew absolutely nothing about. My fellow eighth grade math teacher, who also was teaching the history of Asia, started with Genghis Khan and came and took over my classroom as they had made swords and shields and newspaper, out of newspaper. And my whole introduction to teaching was that moment. I got to teach eighth grade math to the most wonderful group of students. And at this same time, I enrolled at UNC to finish my secondary teaching certificate after taking the practice exam. While I was a bit unhappy with Fort Lupton Middle School, I really wanted to be in the high school. So I earned my secondary teaching license and I started a temporary one year position at Horizon High School where I got the pleasure of teaching LGO 3 this was a one-year teaching position as they were building a new high school, and so they were overcrowded, and I went into the job knowing that it would only be one year. 
finally a math job had opened up in my hometown. And when I mean finally, now these days there's always positions, but back then it was a hard position to come by. So I finally got home to Greeley, Colorado, and I accepted a position at Greeley Central, along with the head coaching for cheerleading, which I had never been a cheerleader before in my life. <laughs> However, I did have a very successful first year at Greeley Central, and I was nominated for Teacher of the Year. In 2008, I started my master's at UNC. <laughs> Sorry for the bell. In linguistically and culturally diverse education. I resigned as the cheer coach and became the junior class sponsor, which means every year I am in charge of raising funds for the junior class that they give back as a gift to Greeley Central at graduation in their senior year. Two big events that I put on every year are the Powder Puff football game and the prom, and this has been something that I have done since 2009. In 2009, again, I was nominated for Teacher of the Year, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Along with being the junior class sponsor and being in grad school, I also started working for the Student Recovery Program, a new program that was created in 2009 um, for, during the summertime at Greeley Central. This takes young Hispanic males and pays them to go to the summer, to go to school during the summer at the University of Northern Colorado to gain confidence in their math and English skills and to take students who are very at risk from graduating and get help, get, the, get them the support needed to graduate. This has been an extremely successful program and we are going on our 13th year now with the student recovery program. Later on in 2010, I graduated with my Master's of Arts in CLD Education and added a CLD endorsement to my teaching license. Finally, in 2012, after a couple of times of being nominated, I finally won the Central Teacher of the Year. This was one of the most joyous moments of my teaching career. In 2013, we took the dive into social media and I became the social media specialist for Greeley Central High School. I also, this was the first time that I was awarded a Gold G teacher. Our students who graduate with over a 4.0 GPA get to honor a teacher at a special end of the year banquet. I typically do not teach this types of students who earn 4.0 GPAs, um, but every now and then I get some amazing freshmen in my Algebra 2 class. And um, I made a big impact on a couple of these kids their freshman year, and they honored me with this Gold Teacher Award. I also added the new teacher program coordinator. At this time, the district stopped um, doing a lot with new teachers in, outside of their induction program. And so I saw a need and I asked to fill it and I was lucky enough to get to fill that. One of our administrators started a Saturday school tutoring program and I took on, or I got the opportunity um, to take on some of that tutoring on Saturday mornings. In 2016, I was awarded with Greeley Central's Teacher of the Year again, and in 2019, I added an AVID elective teacher, where and I was awarded another Gold G teacher. Uh, eighth of my FTE was now coaching duties, and then in the spring of 2020, during the COVID time, half of my FTE was going teachers to teach about synchronous and asynchronous learning. And in 2022, I was awarded the second ever Wildcat Spirit Award, and I became the administrator of Saturday School. So when did I start to think about administration? In 2013, our district stopped working with new teachers at the district level outside of induction. I saw a need and started a new teacher program. This was really my first dive into administration duties. In 2019, I started coaching. Working with teachers was the first time in a while I had felt challenged at my job. I enjoyed working with teachers and saw student growth. I also gained energy from my own classroom. During the COVID years, I quickly figured out asynchronous and synchronous learning and had a full participation from students at home and in the classroom. After looking at data and being observed, my coaching duties were increased. Um, in 2021, my school was given a Dean of Students position for the first time. This position would work with student discipline and the climate and culture of the school. 
this was a job that I really, really wanted. And I let my administrators know that I really wanted this position. The job was never posted and was a teacher on special assignment. And it was offered to a few of my peers. Although I had shown a lot of interest in the position, there was never a conversation with me about the job. However, everyone who was offered the position had their administration license and I did not. During that same time, we had a change in our administration and our new administrators really brought a breath of fresh air and our Dean of Students that was hired was not really working out as intended. Never did I think I would leave the classroom. I was and I still am okay with just being an outstanding teacher. And when I say just, I don't really mean just because I think teachers are the most important part of the educational system and they are the ones who really drive student success. However, if there is a position open, I do not want to be passed up for that position if I really desire it just because I do not have my administration license. So that is really the reason why I jumped into this program. One of my new administrators really pushed me to get my administration license and she really believes that I will be a great administrator one day when I make that decision. So in June 2022, I started at Fort Hayes State University and I will finish in May 2023. In the summer of 2022, I started with taking the induction to school administration course, followed by school law and supervision and evaluation of personnel. In the fall of 2022, I took the special education for school leaders and the educational finance course. I currently just finished up my intersection course of school and community relations and I'm starting my practicum in spring 2023. This summer, I plan to take the Kansas school leadership exam and the Colorado school leadership exam and apply for my administration endorsement. I started my e-portfolio kind of unknowingly in the summer of 2022 and I will have it completed by May 2022. Now here's the big question. When will I leave the classroom? This is something that I am not completely sure of, but it will be when I have stopped being challenged or when I get angry enough at a decision that it will force me to want to make this change or when the perfect position becomes available. When will I retire? That is not the hardest question I have heard and hopefully <laughs> sooner rather than later as that is something I'm very much looking forward to. However, there is a wall of teachers who have been at my school for 30 years and you only make the wall if you complete 30 years of teaching. I have always wanted to be on that wall or 30 years of teaching at Greeley Central. I have always wanted to be on that wall. If I can stay at Greeley Central, then the class of 2037 will be my 30th graduating class and my son will be a part of that class. I would love to graduate with him or my daughter who will be three years behind him. There is also a wall of principals and over the 100 years in this building and the 140 years of my school, there has only been one female leader. While I would love to add a female leader as myself up there, my husband also works in this building. So if either of us ever decide to step into the administration role at Greeley Central, one of us will have to leave. And that has been kind of the biggest challenge of when I will become an administrator because I love my school so very much. And I love working with my husband. My family loves this school. We are an integral part of this community. And the thought of leaving Greeley Central High School is very, very sad to me. But retiring is not very, very sad to me. So if I do stay as a teacher or my husband leaves and I become an administrator here, I would like to graduate with my children from Greeley Central High School. Thank you for watching my video.